Oh God, please don't beat me. Oh my God, why are they beating me? Oh God, please save me. What mistake have I done? Don't beat me. Oh God, why are they punishing me like this? Oh God, save me, please. Stop it. King, what crime did he make? What for you are punishing him? Birbal, his name is Sagar. He is the most unlucky person in our country. Any job started after seeing his face will not come good. So says his record. Are you beating him for this purpose? Yes, I wanted to check this myself and then asked him to stay in my palace yesterday the whole night. When I woke up today, I saw his face and started my day. What happened after that? Birbal, the whole day went upside down for me because of the problems. I could not even rest for a second, Birbal. Not only that, the whole day, I could not even have a single morsel of food. He is the main reason for it. Because of his unlucky face, I suffered the whole day yesterday, Birbal. I have ordered he be whiplashed thousand times and then be beheaded. Your Majesty, I have a small doubt. What is it, Birbal? Uh, I accept that you saw his face yesterday morning. But whose face did he see yesterday? I think he must have seen my face. <laughs> Birbal, why are you laughing this way? Are you making fun of me? Tell me, Birbal. <laughs> no, Your Majesty. You are thinking that you have lost your food only on seeing the most unfortunate person in our vast kingdom. <laughs> but did you see his fate, Majesty? For the only reason he saw your face, he is going to lose his head itself. Your Majesty, tell me who's unfortunate. Is that him? <laughs> Are you, Majesty? Oh, pardon me, Birbal. Pardon me. Thanks for preventing me from making such a wrong judgment. Inshallah. Hey there! Untie his legs and free him immediately. Hmm. Majesty, when money comes on its own, we accept it happily. But when it goes from our hand, we feel bad. For whatever happening, whether good or bad, it is only he responsible. Definitely, Majesty, none others are responsible. Without understanding this, our people feel, if we see his face, that is lucky. And if we see his face, that is unlucky. People may make mistakes, Majesty. But how about you? 
Oh Birbal, forgive me for my foolish act. Release this soul and give him a cup full of gold coins and set him free. You are majesty. Thanks a lot. Live happily, Sagar. Hereafter in my land, no one will be called unlucky. Everyone is lucky. How is that, O Majesty? That's because you are with me, Birbal. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Swamiji, did you have a good feast at the temple? Oh, of course. I ate to my stomach's content that I'm unable to move now. Is it so? Why are you looking so sad? Didn't you get anything to eat today? No, no, I ate. Then why do you stay sad? No. Actually, it is very difficult to lead life like this. I am very much worried about it. You forget about it. Let's face it tomorrow. Be happy now. <laughs> mm. This has become a practice every day. They come here daily and eat food at my palace. Is it a palace or a chow tree? I will put an end to this. Mm. I think I have got a nice idea. Mm. Yes. Nobody should sit in the surroundings of this palace. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Huh? Severe punishment will be given if you don't follow this rule. Why is such a strict order? What can we do now? And where can we go? And what to do? Don't worry, don't worry. We will meet. Our minister Bibal, my friend. He is the one who will solve a problem immediately. Yeah, yeah. He will go definitely. The king has passed such an order. We do not have any shelter now. You must help us in this problem. We expect a good reply from you, Birbal. Okay, okay. You all leave now. Oh, uh, I'll do my best. Zee Huzur. Oh Saint, you should not sit here. Get down from the wall. The king has ordered us not to harm people like you. If the king sees you sitting here, you will be punished severely. So move immediately. Move. Move away. My friend, let's go. He does not listen to us. Oh Saint, no one can help from being punished by the king today. Hey, what's happening out there? Huzur. He does not leave the palace in spite of our several warnings. Thinking too much of yourself? Don't run. I am coming there now. Hey, who are you? Who gave you the permission to sit here? This is not a chowl tree to relax as you want. This royal palace belongs to me. Okay. Is this your palace? Yes. This palace belongs to me. Before you? It belonged to my father, Umayun the Emperor. Uh, before him? It belonged to my grandfather, Baba the Great Emperor. Uh, before him? Abraham Lodi of the Lodi dynasty. My grandfather defeated him in a war and captured this palace. Mm. Uh, before you, when so many men have stayed here, O uh, King, how can you say that this palace belongs to you? What are you talking? O uh, King, the whole world itself is like a chow tree. We are going to live only for a short period. Why should we fight in that short period? Like this is yours, this is mine. Why should we have such inequalities? Please tell me. When we say I mine, that doesn't give strength, Your Majesty. But when we say ours, Your Majesty, that gives a lot of strength. Without understanding this, you have asked the saints to leave who were in need of shade. Majesty, how far this is true? 
my ego is shattered and i am awakened who are you reveal yourself you haven't recognized me majesty i am your birbal my beloved birbal you are brave enough to pinpoint the mistakes of a king thank you very courageous i take back my order right now thank you majesty thanks a lot my ministers there seems to be no news from the persian king for a very long time yes majesty no news at all shall i send a message to him in this regard my majesty no no we'll see later assalam alaikum huzur a messenger has come from persia to see you majesty ha ah, long live the king think of him and there is sense a man escort him inside immediately ji huzur the head of indian subcontinent the crown of mughal kingdom shan shah akbar the great my humble regards welcome sheikh abdullah hearty welcome how is my dear friend the king of persia the desert lion bahaduddin turshiak he is fine your majesty he has sent me with this message and a precious gift to be handed over to you king mhm that is my gift Here it is king bring that precious gift Ha huh? lion it's not an ordinary lion it's a golden lion Open the cage and release the lion immediately. Majesty, the lion is to be taken out without breaking the cage. That's my king's challenge. That's simple. Hey you, open the cage and bring out the lion immediately. My lord, it's not an easy job to bring the lion out of the cage. Observe the cage very carefully. There is no door, your majesty. What is this? The cage doesn't have a door and it is not to be broken. How to let the lion out of the cage? That's where your talent lies, your majesty. You have all the nine gems as ministers in your court. In addition, you have a very intelligent birbal. Have a try, majesty. We will see if it's possible. Aha! Your king has thrown a challenge to my ministers. Birbal open the cage and bring out the lion prove your intelligence to the persian king you order my king Immediately heat an iron rod to red hot condition and bring it here. Ji huzur. What a surprise! The golden statue is melting. Oh, Majesty, it's not a golden statue. It's a wax statue coated with golden paint. 
Mm-hmm. That is why, as soon as the hot rod is inserted, the statue started melting. Hey, minister, are you stunned and astonished at the brilliance of my minister Birbal? You are cornered. Yes, Majesty. Yes, I'll take leave. Don't leave so soon. Take this empty cage with you. It's a gift to the Persian king from me with lot of wishes. <laughs> Birbal, there is nothing equal to you, your talent and intelligence in this whole world. This kingdom will become the richest and strongest with the help of people like you. I am very pleased to meet you. I will take leave Birbal. Thank you. Very cold. Birbal, I think this year the climate is very, very cold. Yes, Your Majesty. Compared to last year, this year climate is extremely cold. Mm. It is so cold that our people won't even come out of their houses. Am I right? No, Your Majesty. A sincere worker will perform his job irrespective of the climate, whether it is hot, cold or rainy. What are you blabbering, Birbal? Can anyone come out and work in this cold? How can this rain, cold bother me? We have to run our lives. If we want to have food tonight, then I have to work now. We need money to live. Am I right? That's right. To run our life, we need money. For that, we can't come out and torture ourselves in the cold. People respect us only if we have money. If we want to earn money in the right way, then we should work hard. No other way. No, Birbal. I am unable to believe this. Are there people who work like this for the sake of money? Yes, Your Majesty. They surely are. I can't accept it, Birbal. Can you show a person to me who works like this? If you succeed in this task, I will give that person immense wealth and honor him. It is possible. I will bring such a worker and make him stand before you, Your Majesty. My dear Birbal, don't attempt it if you can't do it. You might lose it. No, Your Majesty. I have hopes. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see whether you can do it. Hmm, he is the right person. Your Majesty, mm. he is the sincere worker whom I mentioned before. You may test him if you wish. Mm-hmm. What's her name? Govind then, Huzur. Govind, here is your task. Tonight, you will have to stand in the cold waters of River Yamuna. If you are able to do it, then your hands will be full of gold coins. What do you say? Hmm. Your Majesty, I will stand. Hey, guards. Assalamu alaikum, Huzur. It is your duty to check whether he is standing in the cold waters of River Yamuna throughout the night. Your order, Huzur.
Majesty, as per your order, I stood in the cold waters of Yamuna for the whole night. Hey, God, is he speaking the truth to me? Yes, Huzur, that's true. Yesterday whole night, he was standing in the cold waters of Yamuna. Ha ha, what a surprise. Tell me, Govind, what's the secret behind you standing in this cold water throughout the night? That is, while standing in the cold waters of Yamuna, I was admiring the lamps on your palace and I did not feel the chillness at all. Oh, is it so? You are not worthy enough to get those gold coins. You can go now. Your Majesty, this is so unfair. My order was that you stand in the cold waters of River Yamuna throughout that night. But you, you got the warmth from the lamps of my palace. So you have lost and you don't deserve any prizes. You can leave. What happened, Govindan? You look sad. Are you not rewarded by the king? Yes, Birbal. The king did not reward me and has sent me away. Why? Why didn't he reward you? He says that I got warm from the palace lamps and was not worthy of the reward. So, he sent me away and I am very sad about it. This is unfair. Where are the castle lamps? And where is the river? How can the heat from castle lamps reach the river? Even I am confused, Birbal. Don't worry. I will see to it tomorrow. Your reward will reach your home. Don't worry, Govindan. Thank you, Birbal. Thanks a lot. Let me leave. What's happening? Everybody has assembled here. But Birbal is missing. Why hasn't he turned up yet? Hmm? Gods? Assalamu alaikum, Huzur. Hmm. Now you go and bring Birbal to me. Your order, Huzur. Your Majesty, Birbal is cooking kichdi at his residence. He told that he will come only after eating kichdi. All right, let him come. The whole day has gone. What is Birbal up to? Hmm? I'll go and check in person. Birbal, what is this? What are you trying to do this time? Your Majesty, I am cooking kichdi, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. The pot is high up here and the fire is down beneath. Is this the way you cook kichdi, Birbal? How will the contents in the pot get heated up, Birbal? Why, Your Majesty, when the castle lamps can provide heat, to Govindan who is standing in the river. Then why not this fire heat the pot, Your Majesty? I understand, Birbal. I have understood what you are trying to convey. Yes, I have done a mistake. Please forgive me. Right now, Birbal, you yourself take the reward of Govind and give it to him. Thank you, Majesty. Thanks a lot. Govinda, Govinda. Come in, Birbal, come in. Govinda, take this. This is your reward. Thank you, Birbal. Thanks a lot. Do your duty and you will be rewarded. You are the best example for this. Hereafter, there will be no sorrows in your life. Leaving so soon? Don't worry. I'll be back again. My humble regards to great Mughal Emperor Akbar. My esteemed pranams. My name is Abdul Kader. I am a very common citizen living in your vast empire. My heart and money which I had saved all these years 
had been totally robbed by a person only you can do justice for me your majesty dear kadar first explain your problem clearly so that i can understand your majesty last year my wife and myself went on a holy pilgrimage to mecca as i don't have any successors i kept all my treasures in a small box and i gave it to my friend mohammad nazir and i left last month we both returned from our pilgrimage majesty even after asking several times mohammad nazir never gave me that box not only that he also claims that i haven't given him any box now what to do this is not fair don't worry kadar don't worry your hard earned money will not leave you relax your problems will be solved very soon guards assalam alaikum huzur when the court is assembled tomorrow nazir has to be here it's an order from me all right huzur thank you my majesty thanks a lot the king of islam the emperor of mogal kingdom akbar the great shahinshah king akbar the great ruler akbar enter 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 dirbal enquire into this case and derive at a just decision yes your majesty mr abdul qadir can you exactly tell me on which date you handed over the box to him last year in the month of shaban 10th day do you have any proof for that no huzur when i was on my way to mohammad nazir's house i met him in a beautiful garden there i gave him the box huzur as it was afternoon no one was there huzur you were telling that it was a garden was there any tree in that garden yes huzur there was a tall jack tree we were talking right under it huzur there this is a proof you see immediately you go bring the jack tree telling that i want to see it will you do that huzur how can a jack tree speak for me to reveal the truth not only a tree but also the earth will speak for you have courage and live you will definitely get back your thing it is my word as you say huzur it been one hour since kadir has left still he hasn't returned uh -huh. your majesty the garden is on the border of our kingdom he couldn't have gone even half the way <laughs> oh is that so okay all right Huzur Huzur I told the tree whatever you asked me to do but it did not give me any answer Huzur the only proof I had is now dumb Huzur Huzur what more can I do Don't worry even before you have reached the tree has come and spoke and revealed the truth Nazir don't try to hide the truth any more accept your crime No no I am innocent This old man never gave me any box. He's blaming me without any proof, Huzur. So you mean to say that you didn't meet him under the tree? No. You didn't even talk to him? No. Didn't he give you any box on that day? No, no, no. Then how did you know that the tree was on the border of our empire? Uh, that uh, actually I I don't know. What? You'll still not accept your crime? There is a saying that you should not show interest on others things have you forgotten that answer me are you not ashamed of yourself because of showing interest on others things return his box immediately to him or else you will be punished very severely i became very greedy and behaved in this way i will immediately return the box to him today itself
I was very much worried about my box and my hard-earned money inside it. By God's grace, I got it back with your help. Thanks a lot, Hozu. Thanks a lot. Ha ha. How clever you are. What a clear inquiry and what a clear-cut judgment. I appreciate your intelligence, Birbal. Birbal, our country is cleverest. Long, long live, live, long, long live. live. Birbal who brought the truth to light. Long, long live, long live. live. Birbal who made the tree also to speak. Long, long live, live, long live. live. Long live, long live. Birbal, did you listen to Tan Sen's music? How sweetly he sings! What a nice voice he has got! His voice still lingers in my ears, Birbal. Bare wah! What a sweet voice! No one can match his voice. I think a person is yet to be born to beat him in music. Huzur, what you said is right. But Tan Sen's guru, Swami Haridas, sings. even better than him listening to his music not only humans your majesty even birds and animals will nod their heads what is this tan sen what is birbal say yes huzur that is true my guru haridas is the best singer in the whole world if that is true please bring your guru to the court i want to hear him sing a song huzur he never listens to anyone bringing him to our court is impossible huzur then how will king listen to his music huzur his ashram is in brindavan nearby if you don't mind we can go there and listen to his song huzur okay birbal ask the army to be ready by tomorrow morning sunrise we will go to guru haridas and meet him at his place huzur we are likely to meet a saint in a normal ashram So for that do you think we need our army nirban what you say is absolutely right then we three alone will go yes, yes your, your majesty, majesty. Sir please go inside and tell your guru haridas that we have come to meet him as you say your majesty Hearty welcome, Shahin Shah Akbar the Great. Hearty welcome, Guru. Our Emperor is eager to listen to your song. I request you to sing a song for our Emperor and oblige. I understand your intention, Huzur, but I can't sing for humans' orders, Huzur. I can sing only when I get an inner feeling. Kindly don't mistake me, Majesty. Please forgive me, Huzur. I didn't expect. Such a statement from you, Guru Aridas. I'm taking leave now. What, Mr. Tan Sen? Your guru has spoken like this. 
even i can't understand the same thing the king has left angrily you have to find a way out of this a teacher is one who will correct his students whenever they make mistakes of any kind uh, so tanse you go to your guru immediately and sing a song wrongly so in order to correct you he has to naturally sing a song aha aha that's a great thought okay you go immediately and sing a song wrongly hmm quickly the king is about to leave i will go immediately birbal what are you still waiting for come let us go please wait your majesty now guru haridas will sing no he won't he told he will not sing for us no your majesty he will sing now hmm ah tansen you should not sing this song in this way see now i will sing you also sing along with me <laughs> i don't think he will sing ah What a sweet voice. There is divinity in his songs. Aha. Wow. Beautiful. Wonderful. Birbal. Why is our Tansen not able to sing like this? Your Majesty. Tansen sings for only humans. But Tansen's guru Haridas sings for Lord Sri Krishna. That is why his song has such a divinity. I think you are right Birbal right as ever Majesty my name is Navin Badukar I am a jewel merchant the day before yesterday night I kept all my money in a leather bag and placed it in the almira yesterday morning I found it missing majesty ya allah then there are four servants in my house majesty I have a feeling that one of them has stolen it when I inquired them they told me that they don't know if i had to beat them to tell the truth i may find out the culprit but other three will leave so please help me to enquire and find the thief without hurting them your majesty my friend it's very difficult to find the truth without punishing anybody but you want me to do it and find the truth i will try but it's difficult okay Tomorrow you bring your servants to the assembly and I will try to put an end to this problem. Your Majesty, good morning. These are my servants. Here they are. Mm. Birbal hmm your majesty i will take up this case and solve it by using the knowledge of my magical powers which i have magical powers yes your majesty hmm majesty these sticks have magical powers now i will give one stick to each of them the stick of the person who stole the money will increase in length by 4 inches by tomorrow morning I think by doing this we can find the culprit your majesty. Hmm seems to be a very good idea. Hmm 
Do as you wish, Birbal. Take. Each one of you take one stick. Have it beside you while sleeping tonight. Tomorrow morning, bring the stick to the court. Yes, yes Huzur. Huzur. Or your magical stick? <laughs> will you put me in trouble? How will Birbal know that I am a culprit? He will find me only if you grow four inches tomorrow. Hmm. <laughs> I will see to it. Now Birbal cannot find me. I have escaped. I have escaped. Escape. Now let's see how I'll get caught. Give me the sticks which I gave it to you yesterday. Hmm. You can leave. Thank you, Huzur. Show me the stick which I have given to you. Please take. Hmm. You can leave. Thank you, Huzur. Show me the stick which I have given to you. Please. Can I leave, Huzur? No, you can't go. Wait. <laughs> What's your name? Barkand Huzur. Okay, Barkat. Return the merchant's money which you have stolen. Huzur, what are you telling? I haven't taken any money. If that is so, then what does this mean? Mm -hmm. I can't escape. I think. Don't try to cheat. Accept your fault. Birbal, what's happening here? I can't understand the magic in it. Your Majesty, I have given them just ordinary sticks. They don't possess any magical powers. They are just sticks, Majesty. But this man was afraid that it will grow by four inches. So he broke the stick yesterday. If he hasn't stolen, why should he break the stick? What, Barkat? Do you accept at least now? Your Majesty, forgive me. I was the one who stole the money. I will return it today. Kindly forgive me. Please forgive me. I have a family. <laughs> Brilliant Birbal, brilliant. I am at loss of words to praise your brilliance. Shabash Birbal. Minister Birbal, long live, long live. Minister Birbal, long live, long live. Long live, long live.